Today, okay. I'm going to show you some capabilities how to create checks. I will uh, give an example of very simple checks, but uh, the idea is to show you what is possible in Easy Deceiver Fire. Uh, by creating the formulas, what, what are the building blocks, where to find variables, and what you can do uh, with simple examples. So I also use very simple shell model because I want to uh, do changes in my formulas. I will recalculate to be quick with the demonstration. I use the model, which is 500 elements. And I have three loads, two materials and properties in my model, and I already set up some combinations, simple, com simple uh, eight load combinations to use in my calculation. Also, what I did predefined, I have also set some different safety factors to use them in my demonstration. So, uh, you, in SDC Verifier, you have two types of of standards. You have predefined standards, which are divided by society in our menu, and you have custom. The difference is when you use predefined standard, you have a window where you define all the input options, and you can modify that with that window. And a custom standard, you can write your own formulas. For the predefined standard, you cannot change it by default. And in the end, I can show you how you can uh, copy the predefined standard and do the changes there. So to create a standard with your own formulas, you have to go to Menu, Standards, Add, and use Custom. You give a name for that standard, so I will use Demo. And you have, you have here in the list New Standard. And first, uh, what you want to do, you have two sections here. That is an input, which we will cover a bit later. And you have Checks section, where you write your formulas. So to create a check, you need to go to Menu, Add, and here you have a huge list of checks. But the main one you can find on the top, it calls Custom Check. It is, you write formulas for, um, very general for your model, which is based on elements. So for each element, you will write a formula, because below you have specific checks, which you run for uh, on structural items like buckling plates, welds, and stiffeners. So you, we use them uh, uh, for dedicated standards, and they are different from this one because they are not running on elements, but they are running on structural items, and they have special possibilities. They post process results. You have access to, for example, uh, well trend results. And when we present results in the tables, they are not per element, but per item. But today we are not going to cover that. I only wanted to point out the difference between the checks. Today we're going to use simple custom check, uh, which uh, already has a lot of possibilities. So you create custom and you see the, the first uh, window where you have to define the title. Today we are going to create static stress check. So you define a title and also you have a very important uh, item in all the checks and standard, which calls alias. Alias, this is the name of the variable, which you can use in a formula. So if I uh, want to use results of this check in another calculations, I need to give a good name. So I will, will call it static. But later I can refer to that by this name. So alias is variable to refer to some results. So when we did, this is basic stuff, what you need to do, name and alias, and also description. If you want, you can add description for your checks. And there is very important sections here uh, uh, before starting writing any formulas at all. You need to make a choice uh, uh, configuration for your uh, check. And uh, in my model, I have shells. So I have normal and shear stresses in my model. So I want to use directions. For example, if I have beam model, I, I have to turn off this formula, and I want to calculate only for single uh, direction, for example, for actual. And when I have solid model or shell model, I usually want to use calculate over direction. Another options we have here is over points. Uh, if your calculations use stresses and you have corner results, you want to be to use uh, this option on, and, and it means that is this you will calculate stresses, take every corner and use in, in check calculations. Then you have uh, a selection. Here you can limit, if you don't want to use the full model, you can limit the, to, to the part of the model. So if that 
uh, option is configured, then we can start by defining a formula. So you have here a button add, a parameter, and you get a window. It's quite complex uh, with uh, where you input your formulas and all the details of single calculation. So uh, I wanted to do the static stress calculation and first parameter which I'm going to create will be stress. I need to define the title for the parameter so I will write stress and also alias. I use the same that uh, the difference is between the two. From title I can use many words with spaces stress from the model for example and for alias is not allowed because this is a variable it, it should be single word it can use some uh, underscores numbers but should be one single word it's important rule for this uh, and for, for names can be more uh, descriptive also you have a description if you want to uh, write reference to the standard or a chapter this is a good place to, to add for your uh, parameter and uh, uh, next thing I want to, to, to show you that when you create a parameter, quite important to select category because it influences later. I'm going to show you in results that uh, how your numbers are shown in a table and your agenda in a plot. So for this stress, I want to use stress category. And here, now it's time to, to, to write a formula. Uh, on the top right corner, we have some help buttons, which shows you the main functions you can use. This is like uh, square root or the power or min max. They are, uh, they are similar to Excel functions. So for example, if I click, I get here a variable, which is power. So for example, I can type it uh, parameter and the power for it. It's very similar to Excel functions. And uh, here, the, the 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 right top corner you have buttons which shows you what variables you can use in your formulas by categories this is all functions this is main functions and this is all functions so here you have the list with description you can read like sin is absolute shell logarithm etc uh, for example if you want to use something from material material like yield and style you press this button and you have the list of young this is alias for yung and the, the, the name of that variable or yield and the style. This is for property and this is for result. For example, in this, I wanted to have a stress. This button showed me a result from my model. I can access, for example, stress, strain, or uh, bending moment, shear uh, forces, actual forces. So I want to use stress and I press OK and stress variable is added to my formula. So basically what this is the simplest formula I use only S. Is this will automatically calculate for me the stress from the model and put as results for this parameter, the the, the simplest one. So I press press OK and first parameter is created. If I want to modify it, I can simply click it and my form is back. I can do changes in my parameter. So next step, I want to define second parameter, which Maybe, is... Uh, uh, Jarko, it's also good to explain that the directions are automatically set well, and if you want to override it... I, I will show that. you that. That will be covered in example where I will show uh -huh. the uh, allowable stress. That is better example uh, uh, for that. So, But for now, I want to uh, create a parameter which, which will be a safety factor. Uh, safety factor. So it's, uh, I can find it here in the end. So we, we can use this, what, what I showed you before in that table, in the jobs factors, which I defined by, uh, for my loads. I have a variable, which is load.sf. It's load safety factor. It will take automatically the safety factor. So I will create it. Uh, okay. You yeah. made space in the uh, yeah. alias. And DC warns me about it. Yeah, so when I press OK, I created second parameter, and now we can uh, already uh, go and see some results. I want to show you if I create a table for this. Uh, I want to select all the load sets, press View, and it, it will show me, okay, uh, safety factor. As you can see, it uses, uh, it calculates for different directions, so it is the same, but um, I have 
for load sets one, two, three, and four different value, and for load from five to eight different. That's what I have defined in my model here. So that's uh, that's how you can define safety factors, and they can be used in your formula. So we go back to the formula editor. So now it's time to create the uh, allowable stress. Allow. And I want to show you the, the, the first way how we can define uh, variables. We can click on these buttons, or we can simply start typing. And you should have a tips, uh, two tips, what we can what you can use you click enter and you get the function so i want to use minimum of yield and i if i start typing i get what is possible to use so this is another way to of uh, using the variables you have a two tips for what is available so uh, my formula should be minimum of yield and tensile and i wanted to divide it that on the parameter i have created before safety factor and I, I can I can simply start typing its name, or here I have a button which shows me a parameter I have created before, safety factor, okay? And then here I want to show you the difference, why do we need these uh, directions, for example, because available stress for normal uh, stresses is different from the shear stresses. So I copy my formula and I put factors and I want to divide here on extra square, square root of three. And I need to do that, although in my model, I have only plates, but I will use that if I will use solid model, my check will also calculate for solid models as well. Yeah, it said also the category. Yes, good point. So we do that stress here. And also here description, I want to show you, for example, I know this is from chapter, for example, of standards 5.1. I will add reference that will help me later to know where it comes from. Here you see a description. So it's good to, to put their reference to chapters and formulas, which helps you when uh, you open and read uh, the standard. So we have n directions. And now I will create, uh, I think I will create another table to show you uh, the difference of the allowable stress. I want to see allowable stress exactly, uh, but I want to see per a material because it depends on yield. So I will use this one. Uh, or I will use different table when I can see all the materials. We have a component extreme table when I can choose two materials and show allowable stress. If you can see for X and Y, the value is the same, but for shear direction, it is smaller because it's divided on square root of three. So that's where we need the directions. And now we go back to the check. I will show you again. This uh, all formula is used by default for any direction, except you click a button and overwrite and say you want to do some specific in, in this direction, in shear direction. Uh, now I want to create the final parameter, which is uh, utilization factor. So here I want to use category of utilization factor in SDC, it's pretty fine. And I want to use also the limit. I want to have a highlight in my table when it's above one. And the formula will be stress. It's the first parameter we created divided on allowable stress. How did I call it? Don't remember. So I will use this SLO. So we have, if you, as you can notice, we have seven directions for X uh, direction and equivalent, and there is extra spot which we call overall. Why do we use it? Because if you have seven calculations, you have seven different utilization factors, seven results. And usually we want to find maximum of that. And you can type any formula here, but uh, there is it is quite advanced feature. You can refer from this spot to the results of X direction of utilization factor. For this, you need to type me X. But uh, usually you don't have to type a, a, a formula we have here for you. What do you want to know? Absolute maximum set to overall and it creates a formula. I want to know the highest result from each direction of my model. So SDC will calculate, will divide stress on the allowable, the only thing what I want to add here, absolute value, because I want to be positive. 
and here I will have the maximum result and I will show you that in the moment so I will press OK my check is created and then we go and we will we will create we will use maybe one of these tables okay parameter X let's see how that looks uh, you see here all results here this table represents the maximum uh, result of my check on the full model it shows maximum stress maximum safety factor maximum over stress and maximum utilization factor and if we see that if it's above one it shows with red color that's what I have defined in utilization factor as a limit you can do any number there you can do more than 0 0.8 or you can do uh, below negative value that's up to you it can be user defined input so also i wanted to show you utilization factor over directions that's what i have defined so we we have calculations for every direction shear is small the maximum value is in y direction i have and in overall it takes maximum and show one value so if i want to plot something uh, like utilization factor usually i use overall direction to make one plot instead of uh, um, instead of few plots for 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 every direction okay now uh, we have covered how to create checks uh, with four parameters and results uh, I want to show you one one more feature here is you can see there is a stress general category stress utilization factors it's important and I will show you in the table uh, in the moment why and also here is the limit here you can quickly it's possible to change uh, I can select few of them and modify if I want for all my parameters but let's go back to the table and if you output that let's see for single direction that we see few parameters stresses are configured in SDC to show in uh, E plus 6 format utilization factor I define it to use three three numbers after dot and you can see that here in the number format you, you can change that you can for example here I have three I can put one number if I want if I close so this category influence how I show my numbers with what uh, yeah what is the if you want to precise or you want to round or you can use scientific format so category influence on that and also if you if you define category when we make a plot a overall, overall plot uh, for example let me plot the this is a uh, utilization factor from 0 to 1.2 and for example I use same view settings of SDC for example for a low stress let, let's plot uh, I need to use not overall because it doesn't have any formula but for example I, I can see this I have different allowable stress for different materials and my agenda is from 0 to 240 and why is that I want to show you when we go to the views we have same uh, for category is this use different agendas when you can say what format to use automatic mean max what limits and how much levels you want to see so you can make uh, one configuration for your picture but use different legend settings here amount of levels and different limits so it's quite helpful because I have one view with this position but uh, for different results I will get different uh, different legend settings so that's that's why it was important to set the category for parameters when you write it and now I wanted to show a couple of more things what you, you can do. For example, I decided that uh, I don't want to use safety factor for, from load, but it, it would be nice to, to, to use one factor um, like a constant. So here I have a button to create a constant. Let, let me call it safety factor constant. This will be 1.1. And SF constant. Now I have changed this. And also, before I have used in my parameter safety factor here, I don't have to replace in few formulas. So sometimes it's handy to create a parameter and then reuse it. 
Now we have a constant. So you, you can create a, a name with the value and use that in your formula. That makes your formulas uh, more readable. And if you use that a couple of times, so I will show you, you have here an input constant. You can modify it, get, have a description. And then if you use it in a couple of formulas, you go here in constants, you modify a value to 1.2, for example. Okay, yes, clear all results. And then when we make plot, I have safety factor, not overall, but X direction, for example. So now it's 1.2 for, for full model. So I have changed that. I can use constants, that's constant. So now I want to go further. For example, I want to define my safety factor for materials. For this purpose, we have characteristic. And I want to create a material characteristic. I will call it material safety factor. So it, it will show me a list of materials. I have two materials in my model. For one, I will want to use 1.1 and for another 1.2. Okay. And then I go to my for check again. I go to safety factor. And here I have a button to show me all my characteristics. I have material SF, so I need to remove constant. As also you can see, we have different colors for different types of, for example, constant is, is bold font. And material variables is green. So you can you can see some difference by uh, SDC highlighting you and making a difference what you are using. So this is brown, a characteristic. So I, I, I have defined my safety factor, which depends on my materials. I press OK. OK. And we, when we make plot. Maybe it's better to make a table, uh, Jarko. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, here you can see it. And actually, yeah, 1.1 for this material and 1.2 for this material. Usually you insist that I make plots, and <laughs> this time opposite. Okay. Yeah, I did a few tables, and uh, so uh, now I want to sh one more advanced thing. If we already have safety factor in loads, but if I decided that I need an extra factor for my loads, I also can create that in SDC. So characteristic, uh, it is additional user input which can be based on material properties or elements. Let's let do for me for elements for um, I, I want to show you on elements I decided to do elemental safety factor SF so for full model I want to do 1.4 let's do and for yeah, web and non-inspectable items more uh, for welds yeah welds weld is 1.6 so actually here we, we also can make a plot I think where you can see 1.4 full model and 1.6 is, is my classification. So this is, I wanted to show you a power of this input. We, we, we saw constants, we saw characteristic, and we go back to SDC and we, we can change. Uh, now it's on element basis. So element safety factor. So and if I make a plot, it should be the same as in characteristic. So you, you can make any selection in your model and you can define additional input. So we call it characteristic. The only, uh, uh, we also have here a classification. Classification, it is the same as characteristic, but it can be defined in the direction. I want to show you an example of Eurocode because for Eurocode, you have a FAT class and you need to define FAT class for different direction, parallel to the world, perpendicular to the world, in the shear direction. And this is a perfect example to show the classification. When you create, you, you say, we set a full model FAT class 160, and for different direction in SDC, it will be different values. So when I calculate one element, but for X direction in my check, maybe, uh, maybe I can, okay, I, I will not show that for now. Um, so this classification and one more build blocks in SDC, what you can do is, is uh, standard tables. It basically like an Excel table where you can put any data you have. I will make it dummy data, but usually you put that some, some values which you have uh, in your standard material data additional. And 
later in the formulas you can request a data from, from from that so you have this table standard table and this is like an excel you define column number one and one and uh, row number and column number so you can create and request data this is the final uh, building block of of checks i wanted to show okay so what, what, uh, one more thing I want to uh, pay attention that also instead of when you create a characteristic bef before I did uh, let me show I did numeric so you put numbers here any numbers but if you want to limit for example uh, your input in SDC you have the list for on example of FOT class uh, for uh, Eurocode you have categories for your well, it's FOT class, you need to calculate, and we want user to input only these numbers. So we can create a list of options available. And then when I create, let me let me change this to, to user defined, that I can show you, I create a, classif uh, a classification of FOT class. User cannot enter a number here, but he can choose only from the list of the available options. So if you want for user to make input a bit better, you do not, give him a numbers, but you can put a list of nine nice names here. So, and he can apply only that. So that was regarding um, the input, what you can use in, in, the, in the formulas. One more thing I wanted to show, I have created the check. I want to create, create another check and show you that I called my check static and here I can press this button with the check icon and I can see static list of parameters everything that I created before in order check can be used here so I cre can create so I can build this infinitely I can use result of one check in another check and so on and now uh, I wanted to show you on the beginning I, I mentioned that uh, when you have a standard when you create a standard it's predefined you cannot change it uh, let me do. Let me create again a standard. I well, uh, uh, maybe uh, uh, to summarize, uh, Yarko, you can. So, so, if you, for example, have uh, uh, sometimes you have the yield, which depends per material, and you need to make a reduction factor or parameters for per 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 thickness. So, with these these things, you can do you with these modifications, you can include that. Yes, yes, definitely, you can create yield as okay. an input, and. Uh, uh, Based on, on, on that, you can change your yield. But uh, the final thing I wanted to show, we have the standard Eurocode, for example. When we open it, you cannot edit anything because it's created by SDC. You can only see the formulas. Uh, and then you, you have green icon. So if you want to do the changes, we have a comment which says convert to custom. When you press convert to custom, then you are allowed to do what you want. It's it's possible to click and see all the formulas, change them, but it's not any more predefined standard. You cannot edit that with a, with a wizard, and now it's user responsibility if, if he does the changes. But what we offer for protect your formula is if you, for example, modify the check, change the formula to take into account that Walter mentioned some youth changes, you have a possibility to set a password protection. So you say by whom it is locked, Yarko, and you put a form, a password. Then you press OK, and then you you can see icon is changed with small password. And when I open it, I cannot edit it again. So I can create my formulas. Now I want to store it also to the library because I want to share with my colleagues. So I do that. I give a name, so it is in library. And when I share it with my Kowiki library, if they will load that from library, it is still password protected. They cannot change it. So that's how you can make your formula and avoid it by younger colleagues do the changes. But if you later want to continue do modifications, you can enter the password and it becomes again available. So you can create uh, your own calculations, you can protect it from from to be changed and uh, store to the report, share with your colleagues. That's uh, that's actually all I wanted to show you. 
and one more thing to, to, to add, in report, you can show all the formulas. If you create a report, all the formulas can be outputted to the report. But uh, Jarko, if, a, if a, a standard is password protected, and I yeah. don't have the password because it's for my colleague, but I want to do some testing. Yeah. I want to make some changes, and this password protected is to be sure, because I want to do some investigation. Is it possible for me to copy it and then modify it uh -huh. myself or something? Um, you have, let, let me check. Uh, I'm not sure you, you are allowed. You need to go to support, and then maybe we will help no, you. I'm I, I mean, I mean, if yeah. So that yeah. one, can you not copy that as a un, not password protected? Uh, no, but all all the copy buttons and all, all this is forbidden. Not the whole stand, the whole standard. You probably you can, but I think it will be no. Uh, yeah, you can copy. You can you can make a copy. Ah, so there you can modify it. So it's password protected. Then it, it means it's approved. Basically, yes. This is uh, to to use same formulas not allowing to somebody change it if it was checked internally in the company. Yeah, so you know it's the, if it's password protected, is it is it verified internally, mm -hmm. and but you can work with it and modify it, but then it's not a verified. Yeah, it's, it's different. Idea. 